Breaking news tonight from President Obama. He just wrapped up his speech at the Summit of the Americas in Trinidad and Tobago, declaring the U.S. wants a new beginning with Cuba. And now we've just learned that he met with Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez. Our White House correspondent, Suzanne Malveaux, is traveling with the president in Port of Spain. Now, Suzanne, what do you know about the meeting with Chavez? Roland, we just learned about this moments ago from a senior administration official who did confirm that they met, they shook hands. It was really kind of a, a side thing that happened, a greeting, if you will. It was not a, a formal meeting of any sorts, but clearly these kinds of things happen when you have a group of leaders together. There were a lot of questions about whether or not this would take place. The reason why it's significant, obviously, uh, Hugo Chavez, a big critic of the Bush administration of the United States in general, has been calling for normalizing relations between the United States and Cuba, bringing Cuba back back into this uh, kind of summit. He is once the man, as we all know, who called uh, President Bush, referring to him as the devil. So clearly the question whether or not President Obama would be able to work with Hugo Chavez, like many of these other leaders that he's, he's talked about reaching out to. We'll see if this goes anywhere beyond this handshake, but certainly a beginning, Roland. So, so on the president's also making big news with Cuba. Could we be seeing the start of a real dialogue after decades of the silent treatment? You know, we're certainly hearing some different language from President Obama already. Uh, he went before these Latin American leaders. He's talking about really starting new, that there's not a senior partner and a junior partner in this relationship, that there are times that there has been mistrust, that he, he recognizes that that really has to be rebuilt, that it is going to take some time. So what we heard from President Obama today is obviously saying to Raul Castro, yes, we would like to talk. We would like to sit down and talk about human rights as well as democracy, things like that. But it's goes beyond the talk. He wants to see some action from this administration. I want you to take a listen to this, Roland.